So let's do the angel cards for the week of August 4th through August 10th. Now we do have a full moon that week in the sign of Leo, so I'm gonna do a couple extra cards just for that. Um, and we've also, of course, in the middle of the Lion's Gate, so that is amazingly powerful as well. Hopefully you've seen a couple of those videos so you know exactly what we've got going on. I almost feel like this has to be two cards. So these are the cards just for the week. And then I'm gonna pull a couple extra cards just for the new moon in the sign of Leo. So here we go. So the beginning of the week, we've got the card signs. There are so many signs right now of what you need to be doing, how to be doing things, what do you wanna change or upgrade because we've got that amazing lion's gate as well. And so this is an amazing, powerful card, but look for the signs. So many times people tell me like, I don't see them, I don't feel them, I don't sense them. They're there, you have to be aware of them. And sometimes that can be getting into meditation as well. Um, the next card is uh, going into truth and integrity. There may be a compromise or something that you really need to call someone else on or someone may call you on the truth. It doesn't mean that there's anything bad, but sometimes we really have to like stand up. This is my truth. This is what I understand. Or this is my integrity of what's going on or how we want to deal with things that are going on in and around us during this time frame. And it's very, very powerful to say, this is my truth or this is what I know to be true. Now, at the end of the week, we've got two cards. Wow. We've got um, manifestations because we've already got that Lionsgate co energy coming in. Um, on August 8th and then we've also got the meditation if you want to manifest if you want to be um, seeing the signs and hearing the truth of look what is going on in and around us this is the powerful energy this is what we've got to be taken care of um, meditation is a great thing to do and a lot of people think of it as like super complicated or super hard and it's really not it's getting into that quiet zone so you can hear those signs and hear about what your next step should be or how to be dealing with this so my next two cards are about the new moon in the sign of Leo and this is all about freedom and bringing in like your own voice what do you want to bring in and you're free to bring in whatever you choose just make sure that you're stepping into that energy clearly and then this is kind of like the children's card and I love this card because it's really talking about like what do you want and a lot of times like people may say now like oh I want money or I want this or I want status but a lot of times they're not really understanding what they really desire. And we kind of lost that when we were kids. We lost that energy when we were kids, when we said we wanted to be a fireman or a policeman, or we wanted to do this or a space cowboy or whatever it is. We've kind of lost that ambition or what is the possibilities or what is it that we really want to bring into our lives. This is going to be super powerful. And this is a great one to kind of just like let your dreams fly. Now I'm gonna pull one one more card and this is literally just for August 8th now the Lionsgate energy opens way before that um, that the apex of it the strongest day is August 8th and our card is celebration celebrating what we want in our lives, celebrating what we're going to bring into our lives and how this is going to change and adjust things. All of these cards give us a really great view of not only what's going on this week, but what's going on for the rest of our year, the year after, the year after. What do we want to bring in and how do we want to bring in this amazing energy for us and our families?